This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how you can convert text to music. How can you use an AI model called as Refusion to convert text to audio? If you are new here and if you like my content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So this work came up somewhere in the last week of December. So this is called as Refusion. Uh, there is stable diffusion, which is the open source AI, which can generate images from text. So what they have done is that given a text caption, they have fine tuned the stable diffusion AI to generate images of spectrograms. Okay. Now what, is, what are spectrograms? So spectrograms are nothing but a way of representing audio. Okay. So audio spectrogram is a visual way to represent the frequency content of a sound clip. So the X axis over here represents time. The Y axis represents frequency. The color of each pixel in this image gives the amplitude of the audio at the frequency and time given by its row and column. Okay. So the amplitude is this. Okay. So the color over here for each pixel is the amplitude of the particular frequency. So in this way, you can represent an audio. Okay. So uh, this can be computed from an audio. The spectrogram can be computed from the audio using short time Fourier transform. Okay. Which approximates the audio as a combination of sine waves of varying amplitude and phases. So this is this particular Fourier transform is invertible. So the original audio can be reconstructed from a spectrogram. Okay, so in this project called Refusion, this is a hobby project created by Seth and Haig. Okay, what they have done is that they have fine tuned a stable diffusion AI model. So stable diffusion was an AI model given some text, it can generate an image. What they have done is that they have fine tuned that model to generate images of spectrograms like this. Okay, and this spectrogram can be converted to an audio clip. Okay, like this. Okay, so that is the idea over here. In this way, you can actually convert from text to audio. Okay, but there are some steps which needs to be done. So let's go to the details over here a little bit. Okay, so and what they say is that uh, this particular frequency brings in the spectrogram is uh, uses the Mel scale. Okay, which is a perpetual scale of uh, pictures judged by listeners. So this is actually a Mel spectrogram. Okay. So that is the idea over here and they use uh, torch audio. Okay. So what they are saying is with diffusion models, it is possible to condition their creations, not only on a text prompt, but also on other images. You have this image to image in diffusion models. Okay. This is incredibly useful for modifying sounds while preserving the structure of the original clip you like. So you can control how much to deviate from the original clip and towards a new prompt using the denoising strength parameter. So here is the example. So here is that particular funky sax riff, okay, which they have modified it to the and they have cranked up the piano. Okay, so here is this particular sound. Okay, here is the same sound that they have modified and the crank of the piano. Okay, another example is given over here. Okay, so now if you have an original image like this of a particular sound, right, and using the text prompt, you can actually convert or put emphasis on certain part of this image while maintaining the structure of the original sound. Okay, that is the idea of here, and you get the modified sound. Okay, the next task is how do you loop this? This is a short clip, right? How do you uh, loop this to uh, create infinite AI generated gems? So, what they do is that they wanted to generate 100 clips with varying seeds. Okay, but you cannot just concatenate because each of these clips will vary, right? We put in a prompt and generate 100 clips. Each of them will be different. So what is their strategy is pick one initial image, generate variations of it by running image to image generations with different seed and prompts. Okay, this preserves the key properties of the clips. To make them loopable, we create also create initial images that are an exact number of measures. So this is the idea. You have your input image, 
you have image to image in stable diffusion you create a based on a seed a new prompt you create seed images based on this now you can actually uh, transition between the clips but what they say is it is still too abrupt to transition between clips multiple interpretation of the same prompt with the same overall structure can still vary okay so what do they do is that they smoothly interpolate between prompts and seeds in the latent space of the model okay so in diffusion models the latent space is a feature vector that embeds the entire possible space what the model can generate so they go into the latent space of this representation and there they do some interpolation okay so items which resemble each other are close in the latent space and every numerical value of the latent space decodes to a viable output so what they are saying is that you do interpolation in the latent space in that way you can get a smooth uh, loop okay so it is possible uh, to uh, uh, it is possible to sample the latent latent space between a prompt with two different seeds or two different prompts with the same seed so that is the idea which they have given here here is an example so what they do over here is that uh, they do the same thing with this audio model to produce buttery smooth transitions so you have a seed then they do some interpolation on the latent space of this seed okay which is what you get these intermediate uh, images and then you get this seed b which is the uh, this thing so in this way uh, which is the uh, based on the new prompt so in this way they can actually create loops okay so that is the idea over here so here they are saying about 20 step interpolation they have given some examples typing to jazz so this is you are typing and slowly transitions into jazz music okay here you have church bells to electronic beats okay how it transitions so these are some examples okay so the hugging face diffusers library has a wide range of pipelines image to image and prompt uh, they have used uh, but we needed an implementation for interpolation so we implemented this pipeline along with the support uh, over here right masking to limit generation only parts of the image so that is what they have done over here so this is the key idea they also have a web app uh, which is interactive where you can actually try out something so you can play that and probably here i can say that uh, some kind of prompt i don't know what is the music which is going to get generated currently it is generating this part over here and then it will move to this part Let's see what happens. Okay, so it has actually started this particular prompt now. Right? Maybe I'll move it to flute music. Let me see what happens. I have no idea what happens. What kind of music gets generated? Just picked up one of the tunes of A R Rahman over here, actually, of a song. Let's see if it transitions. Yeah, now it is over here. not so sure i don't have that much knowledge of music to actually comment on the notes and other things okay hmm yeah the flute sounds are coming up quite interesting work right so let me stop this so this was about refusion the idea over here is that you can convert audio into spectrograms and from spectrograms you can generate music okay so you can use diffusion image to image to actually transition from one prompt to the next prompt uh you know you can produce this interpolation on the latent space over here of the images of the audio spectrograms to get that smooth effect of you know and the music uh, instead of abrupt transitions okay uh, so that 
that is quite an interesting work and interesting approach over here uh, they also have uh, their code on github uh, you can actually go and try out that okay they also have a model checkpoint uh, on hugging space some people have already created spaces using this particular model you can try out these spaces uh, this work is quite interesting i like this idea of uh, multimodality in the sense that converting the audio to an image doing something on the image space and then going back to audio for your necessary uh, what you call given a text prompt uh, getting this audio image and then taking it to music right or converting it into audio so i like this idea of uh, refusion so you can go and check out this particular project you can check out their github page as well uh, you can give a star to them you can try out the models over here i hope this short video on refusion is useful for you if you uh, like the video please like share subscribe to the channel if you would like to financially contribute to me uh, if you like my content you can buy me a coffee at buy me a coffee slash ritesh see you in another video happy learning